Today we're going to be doing something absolutely awesome, something that I have wanted to do ever since I was a little kid, which is screen printing. And I know that sounds a little crazy, but I absolutely love t-shirts. You see here I got the new Backstage with Tinker t-shirt on. I love screen printing. I don't know what it is about t-shirts, maybe it's just they're so comfortable, or as long as you're artistic, man, you can create anything and put it on a t-shirt. There are printers everywhere that make shirts, and I just think it's awesome. So today, What's that? <laughs> so my neighbors just dropped by to see what I was doing. They see, <laughs> they see me standing out in the garage with my camera. I'm talking to a camera in my garage and I got all this stuff and they're like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> so I had to go out there and explain myself. Miss Carol, Mr. Mickey, if you guys see this when you're watching my channel, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're going to be screen printing all the tie-dye shirts that I've been making. And you can see here, I've got them all done. They're ready to go. So we're going to screen print these bad boys up today. I think I've got like almost 50 shirts. And you can see that I have bought a single screen uh, screen printing press. Now this is a screen press that I bought off of eBay. And uh, the guy from Testimony Skateboards hooked me up with the right one to check out. And it's got all the it's got all the goods. It was kind of a pain in the butt to put together, but he made the screen for us, and I've got all that put together. And then I also bought a screen printing dryer. So what this thing does is it heats up super hot, and you put your t-shirt underneath it. You're pretty much baking that ink onto the shirt that you're printing. Okay, so in order to do this project, there's some tools that you need. And I looked all this stuff up on YouTube and did some internet searching. And then again, my friends at Testimony Skateboards helped me understand kind of the things that I needed to get. But first of all, you have to have the press like we have here, and you have to have a screen. Um, I did not, again, I did not make this screen at home. Uh, Testimony Skateboards made this screen for me. If you've got a screen printing place in your hometown, maybe, you can even order them online. You can order a screen made for you, so you just have to send them your artwork and they'll make a screen for you. You're going to need a squeegee, so the squeegee here is used when you pull the, I'm going to call it ink for lack of a better way to say it, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is, but you use a squeegee to pull this across the screen. and then. I have the ink here. Again, this is something called Plastisol ink. It's specific for screen printing. This was the best, um, this was the best I could find. I bought it off a site called Ryonet, and uh, they sell all kinds of screen printing supplies. And according to this, this is supposed to be really, really good stuff. Next, you need this spray adhesive. So essentially, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I have to spray this adhesive on this part of the screen printing press called the platen. This is where your shirt goes. And this kind of makes it a little bit sticky so the shirt doesn't move. As I understand it, when you pull the, the ink across the uh, screen onto the shirt, it tends to maybe want to pull the shirt up when you lift the screen and you don't want to do that because I guess it'll blur your, your print. Then you need this uh, screen cleaner. So like when you're done, you can't just leave your screen. You have, to, you have to clean it. So this is stuff you spray on the screen, I guess, to spray off the screen. We'll see how that works. And then lastly, I needed a, um, uh, an infrared thermometer. So essentially what this thing does is it shoots a beam at, uh, at the shirt. So you hold it over the shirt as you have it under the dryer and you point it towards it and you keep it on there until it reaches a certain temperature. That way you know exactly that according to, according to this stuff here, it says it ha in order for this to be fully cured, it has to get to 320 degrees throughout, 320 degrees Fahrenheit. That's wicked hot. So, you know, there's no way you could gauge that. I and mean, certainly there are things that I read that says, well, you count down so many seconds, 15 to 20 seconds, I think is what I heard. But by using an infrared thermometer, what this will do is this will allow you to make sure that your ink is fully cured, that it got to that 320 degree mark, and then you can pull it off, and then it should be done. Because as I understand it, if you don't let it fully cure, if it doesn't get hot enough to fully cure, once you chuck it in the washer, 
it's just gonna wash right out and I don't want that to happen. So these are the things that you need in order to screen print as, as best I can tell. So <laughs> we're gonna give it a go and see how it works out. So I just turned on my dryer, got that thing heating up and it's gonna take probably 10 minutes. I don't know how long it takes, <laughs> I'm just guessing. I've only turned it on one time just to make sure that it worked before I started this. And so it's gonna take a little time, I know, for that thing to heat up. So I got all my tools ready. Now, I went ahead and got like a junk shirt because I'd like to try it first before I try it on one of the tie-dye shirts. I worked I worked pretty hard on those tie-dye shirts and they came out super sick, man. I love them. But I found this junk shirt in my garage. So we're gonna use this one to do a test run on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the spray adhesive to go ahead and spray onto the platen. I have no idea how much of that you're supposed to use. That could be way too much. That may not be enough at all. We'll find out. And I guess you put the shirt over it. Now, I'm kind of learning all this as I go. So, honestly, I don't really know I don't really know the strategy that you're supposed to employ when you're doing this. So I'm just kind of going with what I think makes the most sense. Now what I'm going to do is take my shirt. I don't want to stretch it, but I do want to make sure that it's, that it's in proper position. You also want to make sure that it's completely flat, right? So I'm to make sure there's no wrinkles in it. And what I did was I lined up I lined up the seams of the shoulders right here on the edge of the platen such as to try to make it as centered as I possibly can. So when I pull my shirt down on it, oh another thing I learned about this, this is pretty important I think. When I bought the screen printing press, it came with these little these little furry sticky things. Um and you may not be able to see them here on my screen, but essentially I guess I always thought that when you did screen printing, you just laid the screen right down on top of the shirt. Well, I'm told that's, that's not the right thing to do, that you actually need space between the screen and the shirt so that when you rake the ink across, you're going to press down on it and kind of press it into the shirt. But you need something to create some distance between the screen and the shirt so that when once you press down on it and you pull away, the screen naturally pulls away from the shirt. So you use these little things here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's see if that'll focus. Anyway, you probably buy these at Home Depot, I guess. Um, it's a little sticky thing that creates about, I would say that's about 3 sixteenths of an inch, maybe, maybe an eighth of an inch thick and just creates a little distance between the screen and the shirt. Another thing you might notice is, I have this Band-Aid on my middle finger. Last night, when my wife and I came home, we had gone out to dinner, I somehow slammed my finger in the car door and it, <laughs> it hurt and bled like crazy. I don't know how a grown 47-year-old man <laughs> slams his finger in the car door, but this guy did it. All right, now the first thing that I notice when I pull my screen down on my shirt, just to make sure everything looks right, when I'm looking at this, this design, this owl design is very symmetrical. It's got these like ears or the, the points up here. It's got a point down here at the bottom. When I'm looking at this, at the placement of this on the shirt up against where the collar is here, I can tell it's not centered. So I'm going to have to I got to do one of two things. I've got to either adjust my shirt or I need to adjust the screen. It'll obviously be way easier to adjust the shirt. And now that I look at this, I can see that the that it is shifted off to this side. So let's see about moving that. I mean, I guess you just you use a little bit of common sense when you're doing this. All right, so I got it adjusted. So let's check it again. That looks way better. All right. I don't see any instructions on how to use it. I kind of didn't expect that. But Based on just watching videos, like I've seen um, from people doing this, it doesn't look that difficult. It looks like they put a little ink. Whoa. Okay, that's first. So that's the first um, interesting thing. This is not what I expected. See how thick that is? It's like 
like sour cream or yogurt man that's like super thick stuff there's like stuck to the lid i guess i was just kind of expecting that you could you just poured it out onto the screen as you can see it's not pouring so i need to get something to scoop this stuff out with okay now i'm not gonna lie <laughs> my first thought was i could go to the kitchen and get a wooden spoon or something and I thought, well, I've got some painting stuff. I'll check and see if I've got something. So I got this little scraper. This should work just fine. Put it on the screen. Another thing that occurs to me is it would probably be wise to have like some towels or something laying around. Um, Cause I tend to ha have the um, propensity to make a mess. So it's, I'm, thinking now that having a towel handy probably wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, I'm just going to spread this out, kind of cover the distance of, of my design. And it, I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing probably a little of this stuff goes a long way. We'll, we'll see, I suppose. Um, but it seems to me like there's not a whole lot of it that's going to go through the screen. At least I don't think so. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes when you get shirts, um, maybe it depends on the kind of screen that you're using. Like, for instance, if you look at these, these new Backstage with Tinker shirts, this is not, like, super thick. You can feel it, but it's not super thick. Um, some of them feel really thick. So we'll see how this stuff behaves. Now, let's give it a go. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing down... I'm pulling the ink really slow through the through the design. You gotta press down pretty hard too, it seems. I am not gonna pull it through again. Get this one pulled off so you can see it. Alright, so there's the print. See how sick that is? Dude, that is so cool. How have I never done this before? It's it's really not that hard. I mean, you do got to invest a little money, right? You got to buy a press, and you probably need to buy a flash dryer like what I've got here. But, I mean, you could do something so sick like this. That's just so cool, man. All right, let's dry it up. This thing's pretty sick because it has a laser on it, so you can point it to right, ever, right to where you want it. All right, 340 degrees. Voila. Let's check it and see. That's perfect. <laughs> it's so cool, man. I cannot believe all these years I've never tried this myself. Oh my gosh. I am so freaking excited right now. I can't even believe how excited I am. Just the fact that I am screen printing t-shirts. I'm excited that I'm, not only that am I doing this, but I'm going to be shipping these things out and you guys are going to be wearing them. <laughs> just blows my mind. I can't even believe that it's happening. So I'm so excited about it. Let's move on to screen printing the tie-dye shirts now.
So I just finished the last shirt and some things I learned from this whole project is, you know, it seems cliche, but you know, you really can do anything that you put your mind to. This right here is proof to me that I can do anything. And I know it, it's super simple, right? It's a, it's a tie-dye t-shirt with a screen print on it. But this is a tie-dye t-shirt that I made. I made this. It wasn't this color when I started. This screen print wasn't sent off to somebody and somebody else did the work. I did this myself. I bought the tools, I put in the hard work, and I did it. I had to overcome some doubts. Even today, when I knew I was gonna start this project, right, I hesitated because I thought, man, I don't know if I can do it. Then I thought, you know what, I can do anything. And I decided I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. Success or failure, it didn't really matter. I was gonna do it, I was gonna go for it. And man, you know what, check this out. I mean, had I not done this, right? Now granted, I could have sent this off and there's a thousand places probably where you could have this kind of stuff done, but how cool is it that this, this is handmade? I, I made this with my own hands. And you know, we serve a God that says he's the God of the impossible. He's a God that can do anything. And we are King's kids. You know, the Bible tells us that, that we are given the rights. We're, we're, we are called heirs with Christ. Now, if we're, we're a king's kid, we're created in his image. The Bible tells us we were created in his image and he can do anything. You know what? We can do anything. So I'm gonna put these t-shirts up for sale. I don't know if I told you guys or not. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I did say it on Instagram, but we're gonna use the proceeds from the sale of these shirts to support Kyle Brush's um, skate church ministry up in South Haven, Michigan called Truth Skate Church. What he's doing up there is super rad. I really love it. And he's, um, he's having great success, even with his unlikely servant ministry where he's going out evangelistically and sharing, um, sharing the gospel. Um, but I wanna use these shirts to help support unlikely servant and help support Truth Skate Church. Um, I hope that you guys will love these as much as I've loved creating them. I'll tell you that it was a butt ton of work. Um, doing this again, I probably wouldn't make the shirt. I probably would buy tie-dye shirts. I found a great place that sells beautiful tie-dye shirts at a reasonable price. The screen printing part, I would totally do the screen printing part. Matter of fact, I love this so much. I could see myself at some point in my life when I don't have anything else to do, maybe even opening a screen printing business. So kids, parents, whoever, right? Just know that you are a child of a God that can do absolutely anything. And because of that, I believe that you and I can do absolutely anything too. Anything that we put our minds to. So I pray that these shirts will bless you guys. I'm gonna have these up on the wisdomskateboards.com website sometime this week. Um, I originally thought maybe I would put them up individually. 50 shirts individually on a website is gonna be a lot of work that I don't really wanna do. So I'm gonna put up colors that you can choose from up there. And I assure you that um, they're all gonna be awesome. So you can pick your favorite colors and get them. I have very limited quantity. Like I said, only about 50 shirts. So if you want one, make sure you get one. I pray that these shirts are a blessing to you, that you love wearing them, and that it gives you a reason to talk about not just wisdom skateboards, but to talk about God, to share the gospel. When somebody looks at this shirt and says, hey man, what does that mean? You could share the gospel with them because of some dude, me, in Port Orange, Florida, in my garage, made these shirts. I pray that they're a blessing to you. I pray that you'll help us be a blessing to Kyle and his ministry. I love you guys. God bless.